Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to a brand new day. I just wanna do a chit chat, get ready with me. I feel like I've had a lot of anxiety lately. I have a, well, it's not really lately. That's like a forever and always thing. I just feel like I've had a lot on my mind. Touched upon it a little bit in my vlog that I uploaded earlier this week on Monday. If you missed that, I will link that here as well as put it down below. I have a lot of like conflicting feelings. I feel like I'm kind of changing a bit and it makes me nervous. I've been trying to do a lot of like inner healing, finding my myself, reinventing myself, but like in reinventing myself, I've been finding that I've been kind of like trying to find the old version of me and like honing in on that more like carefree, naive child that I once was. I actually wrote down a list of topics. I wanna to talk about overconsumption, my internal struggle, to love beauty and fashion, but also the planet. Like I'm just, I'm worried about the planet. Are influencers destroying the planet? That was a question that I wrote down. I am child-free by choice, which I wanna talk about. Hormone balancing, being the best in whatever I'm doing. I've tried to just be a little bit more prideful recently in whatever it is I'm doing. If I hate it, I just pretend like I love it. I don't know. Envisioning the boss bitch that I am and realizing that I am her. Those are the topics you can expect from this video. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to give you an overview. I also needed to mentally prepare. I just curled my hair. I tried to do the Dyson differently using different products. I don't really feel like it looks bad, but I also don't feel like it looks any different. My hair's dry in the sense that it holds a curl, but it's so heavy that sometimes the curls fall out. I'm not organized as per usual. I am unprepared for this video. Do we like this dress though? The problem is that I can't wear a bra. Um, and I want to wear a bra, so I'm currently wearing a bra. TBD if I wear this out to dinner later. I didn't put any sunscreen on today because I have been sweating since, quite frankly, I got done working out and got out of the shower. I'm gonna re-dampen my face using the Peach and Lily Mist. I wish this was like interactive and I could ask you. I don't really think I'm gonna talk about the products that I'm using today. I think we should just keep it to a chit chat, get ready with me. I just said I wasn't gonna talk about this, but this will be the last thing that I talk about. I'm gonna use the Dr. Dennis Gross SPF 50. I am running low on her and I will definitely repurchase her. I'm just like really hot. I'm supposed to get my period today, which is a great segue into the hormone balancing. My period sends me out of whack, like out of, the four weeks there are in a month, I really only feel good for like one week and it's the week that I'm ovulating. Anyone else? Actually insane how I feel so terrible all the time. The week before I get my period, which in real time was last week, I just feel very like lethargic. I'm not hungry at all. I have to like force myself to eat, which is terrible, especially because I'm doing Sydney Cummings Summertime Find Her Fitness Program and I just like need a lot of protein. I'm not really trying to like bulk up, but I'm trying to to be healthy and fit. Like I really just wanna be fit. And so I need to like up my protein game, but protein is very filling. And when you're not in the mood to eat anything, like the last thing I wanna eat is protein. Like I just wanna eat carbs. I have chocolate, I have banana bread. I just made banana bread the other day. The week before I get my period, I'm lethargic, I'm tired, I'm cranky. Like I really PMS and I'm just like an emotional mess who's not hungry. I cannot tell you how much I've cried in the last week. Like it's actually insane. Insane. always emotional right before I get my period and I do cry. But I can't remember the last time that I cried as much as I've cried the last like seven, eight days. Anything will send me and I'm just constantly worried. I am just like very upset about my cat for some reason. God forbid something happening to him. I don't even want to say it, but like I am in the sad loop of TikTok and Instagram reels. So I am like kind of, I'm still uploading on TikTok. I don't really upload on Instagram that much anymore. I do upload stories, but I just, I don't know. Instagram doesn't give me fuzzy feely vibes, but I just, I honestly can't scroll on TikTok because I'm being fed sad things things like senior cats this one girl oh my god she's a 22 year old cat he's gorgeous black cat i love black cats black cats are my favorite don't tell He's black and white, but he's not all black. Help me bathe my cat, my 22 year old cat. She put this cat in the sink and the cat was just like laying there in the sink, like a sweet little angel baby. It sent me, like I was hysterical. I was hysterical. I don't wanna say it's not normal, but I just don't want to have the crazy mood swings. Like I don't wanna be so hysterical before I get my period. But I will say since eating healthier and working out more the last three months, three, four months, my period pains, my cramps, are not nearly as bad as they used to be. Period's not as long as it used to be either. Like I used to have it for five days and 
right now I'm averaging three. So I am really curious. I would imagine my eating and my working out kind of play a role in that because that's the only thing that I have been really doing differently. But the week after my period, I am the most tired. I am lethargic before I get it. And then the week after I get it, my body is like physically tired. My legs feel heavy. My body feels heavy. I'm just exhausted. And then again, the week that I ovulate, it's like I'm a brand new woman, but it's like, it doesn't last long enough. Like if I could get the brand new woman vibes to last me two weeks, I would be so, so happy. But anyway, so I'm just like curious about the hormone balancing. This week I have been waking up and having six to eight ounces of water. I am someone where I wake up and I just need coffee. Like I wake up in my brain, that's the only thing my brain can process. So I've been waking up and like chugging a glass of water because I just want my caffeine. And then when I'm drinking my coffee, I've been eating something because apparently it's not good for your hormones or your cortisol levels spike when you drink coffee on an empty stomach. So I've been eating banana bread, chewing on half of a protein bar. I'm dabbling in the hormone balancing act. I will keep you all posted. But in the meantime, if you have any tips and tricks or like any insight on hormone balancing, please let me know. I love being a woman and I feel like I can use my monthly cycle to my advantage. But right now it's wreaking havoc on my mental health. I want more people to talk about this. A lot of people think that they need to go on like medicine to help balance their emotions. But I just feel like it really has to do with our periods. I want you to know that if you're feeling a similar way, you're not crazy. We're not crazy. We're just women. I hate to say that that's the problem because it's not really a problem. I love being a woman, but it's a lot sometimes. Like some days I just want to feel normal and I want to feel less insane. But I'm also really tired of people being like, oh, are you PMSing? Like, oh, is it that time of the month? Like nowhere, no way, no how is it ever appropriate to say that to someone. Yes, Chad, maybe I am. Maybe I am currently bleeding in this very moment and you accurately depicted the situation, but shut up because you have no idea what it's like to be me or any other woman that menstruates. So this whole question on our influencers ruining the environment, destroying the planet, I feel multiple ways about it. I really think that like big corporation companies play the biggest role in global warming. Another thing I've been hysterically crying about is the state of our planet. Like I cannot remember the last time it was this effing hot out. Like the whole month of July and like the end of June has felt like August on repeat. Like, I don't know, like when I think about really hot summers, I automatically think of August and it being like unbearable. And I am someone where I am like so temperature sensitive. It is like unreal. When I'm hot, I am like hot and I am sweating and I sweat a lot. I don't want to seem like bratty or like ungrateful. Like I'm really just not enjoying the summer. And it makes me really sad to even say that. And this is another thing that has been making me sad lately. Honestly, we could just retitle this video, like all the things that have been making Fortune cry. I just wanted to have a hot girl summer. I have been going through it in recent years. In 2022, I found out that my dad had stage four lung cancer. Memorial Day weekend, like right before Memorial Day weekend. And it was a terrible time. That entire summer of 2022, I basically watched that whole year. I basically watched my dad deteriorate and become some other person I had never known. Cancer, it's just like insane. You know, it sucks the person that you once knew out of the person that you love so much. And you know, my dad, I can't blame him, but he became really angry. He became really bitter. I just kind of wish that things had played out differently, which is another thing that makes me hysterical all the time. I'm not good at talking about my emotions. We all know this. And I might struggle through this video describing all of these things, but I wish I had just kind of like mustered up the courage to have the hard conversations that I wish I had had with him. Like I wish I had told him more how much I loved him and how much I was gonna miss him. Just like had those more emotional in-depth conversations. I don't know, but that's not something that my dad wanted. He was never someone who talked about his emotions. He always, you know, I'm not saying that not talking talking about your emotions makes you strong. But my dad was like very like typical old school Italian, like didn't talk about his emotions, worked really hard, tough. That was my dad. And so my dad never really like spoke about his feelings and I carry that. Like I am someone who really struggles to talk about my feelings and my emotions. And I definitely get that from both of my parents. So when my dad was dying, I didn't really talk about those things because I didn't know how to say them. It was hard for me. It was scary for me. And also like my dad didn't want to hear it. 
it. So like I really regret not telling my dad like how much I would miss him and all of these things um, because I basically like watched my dad die in my parents home and it was uh, it's a big regret of mine. It is something that I will live with for the rest of my life. It is my life's biggest regret. You know, I can't go back and I can't erase what happened and I can't change what happened. So while I do think about it sometimes, I'm trying to not dwell on it because I realize, you know, you can't change the past. You can't go back in time. I hate it, but it is what it is. And uh, what else can I say? 2022 was a terrible year. And then 2023, my dad died uh, January 14th. So then, you know, automatically 2023 was like the year that I lost my dad. So then that summer was terrible. The whole year was terrible. And I don't know why, but I thought like, the change of the year would somehow clear the air <laughs> and make me forget about all of the things but, but that's not life you know and I'm still sad about my dad I thought that it was gonna be hot girl summer carefree having a good time and then you know the world just decided to be hot as hell because us humans are trashy we're really trashy and we're destroying our planet I've been inside a lot on beautiful days beautiful in the sense that the sun is out but like unbearable in the sense that it feels like the freaking Sahara Desert outside so I'm having a hard time because I'm sad still because the summer is my dad's like favorite season I love our beach house but you know I get sad sometimes because it makes me think of my dad like my dad would be down there if he were still alive but he's not alive and so he's not at the beach house or at least maybe he is I just can't see him but the weather is not helping because I was hoping that I would be frolicking but instead I'm literally inside crying about how the world is on fire is anyone else feeling this like I'm just I knew that global warming was a problem and I've been conscious about it but I think now it's like so in your face like with the heat this summer it's really upsetting me like I, I cry about it a lot like multiple times a week selfishly some days I'm crying about the fact that I can't be outside having a good time but most of the time I'm crying that like no summer will ever be a frolicking summer because it's just it's so unbearable it's so unbearable I can't I'm just like really upsetting and I wish that we would all just get together come together and kind of like fix the planet so that leads me back to the whole like our influencers ruining the planet like I just feel like overconsumption is all of the rage and I also play a part in that I'm not blind I'm not stupid I have self-awareness like I love makeup I love beauty I love skincare I love of shopping like Mike and I are literally going to short hills and I'm already thinking about the things that I'm gonna buy but I feel guilty about it I made shifts in my life in recent years you know I don't buy as much makeup as I used to buy I used to hoard the makeup like every time that there was a new makeup release prior to COVID I would go out and buy it because I was like I need to make content my people want to see the stuff and I love creating content I love being here for you guys but that was like the focus of my channel okay let me grab my powder I have kind of shifted in the sense that I really don't buy new makeup. Like, yes, okay, I buy stuff during the Sephora sale, but honestly, like if I find something that I love and I like, I kind of just stick with it. I started incorporating vlogs here. We talk about life, we talk about grief, we talk about death, we talk about all things. And I share just a lot of things on repeat. Like I really find like I am very repetitive here on social media. This is my life. I do a lot of the same things every day and I'm not going out and buying like the brand new release in terms of makeup. Like I think like when it comes to makeup, all the makeup that I'm using here, nothing is new. You've seen all of this. I really try to like hone in on maybe learning new makeup techniques so that we can all use what we have instead of going out and spending our hard earned money. Like things are so expensive right now and people are so strapped for money. Like I enjoy fashion, I enjoy beauty, but I don't want you to ever feel like you need to buy the latest and greatest whatever it is to be a worthy human. And I feel like social media sometimes makes me feel like that. Like I watch a bunch of beauty vloggers and I love them. Some days I just like, I have the ick. Like I have a little bit of the ick and I also have a little bit of the ick with myself. I just want to become more of a minimalist. I want to just hone in on the things that I need and kind of create like a capsule wardrobe. The clutter, the excessiveness, it just just, it's been, I don't know why, it's just really upsetting me lately. I think with the planet being as hot as it is, really been at the forefront of my mind, but I'm really struggling because again, I love beauty, I love makeup, and I think that like this hustle culture on social media in order to just like buy a multitude of things, handbags, shoes, 
dresses, hats, the newest makeup release. Like I just, it's a lot. And I don't try to keep up with the Joneses. I do really just try to be true to who I am. I'm thinking about how I really want I was gonna say need, but I don't really need anything. We don't need anything, but I really want to get a beige belt because I love belts and I wear them every day. I have a brown, I have a black, but I don't have like a neutral belt. So I'm thinking about going and buying like a designer belt when we go to the Short Hills Mall. But then I feel guilty because then I come back and I show you guys and I'm like, look at what I bought. And it's like, but maybe we should just be buying less. Does this make sense? Does anyone else feel this way? And I also think that like at the end of the day, we can all make a difference. However, I think that like big corporate corporations and everyone just like puts it on the individual consumer to make a difference. But I think that like big companies, like billion dollar companies, like Coca-Cola, Unilever, fashion brands, like fashion I, is like what, one of the top three industries in the world that contributes to pollution. I think that yes, me buying less, you buying less, me recycling, you recycling, like we can make a difference, but I'm not stupid and I will not be fools to believe that I can make a bigger difference than coca-cola can make you know what i'm saying it's just such a crapshoot i want us all to band together to help make a difference and i know that this kind of sounds contradictory because i'm like i try to live more of a conscious life like i do but i but i love what i love and i can't like i don't know i love products I love things. Did I used to be more materialistic? I think so, yeah. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Like the change of the seasons, I tend to buy new pieces for my wardrobe. I love lipstick. Like if I see a nice lipstick, I justify a lipstick, a lip liner, because I say to myself, if it's something I'm gonna use, I'm gonna buy it. And that's kind of been my thought process lately. If I know I'm gonna use it, I will buy it. If I don't think I'm gonna use it, then I'm not gonna let it sit here and take up the space in my life to drive me crazy because clutter really drives me crazy. It's just, it's so frustrating. I can't even like really put it into words, but I hope I did an okay job. I don't wanna be a part of the problem. I really wanna be a part of the solution. So I'm not gonna be so extreme where I say, I hate makeup and I hate beauty and I hate fashion and I'm not buying anything. I don't wanna just like buy something because everyone else is buying it. I don't wanna just buy something because, you know, I saw this girl on Instagram and she looked fabulous. And I think to myself like, oh, if I own this, you don't like that marketing thing. Like if I own this piece, I'll feel good in my skin. I'll be as beautiful as her. If I buy this lipstick because Alana Davison bought it, like I'll have lips like her. Like, no, I won't. My camera overheated like the planet. So I threw on my brows. So let's talk about me and Mike being child free by choice. I don't know. This has been a topic that Victoria McGrath here on YouTube has spoken upon and it's not really something I've ever spoken about on here, I don't think. And it's quite honestly, like if someone asks me, when are you and Mike gonna have kids? I say, we're not. Like I answer, I'm not gonna lie. It's not really something that I like openly discuss. And I really, I think it's because if we rewind several years ago, I was still living in my apartment. Mike and I weren't even engaged. I wanna say it was like 20, 2018? 2017? Mike and I went out with one of his um, friends, had met like his new girlfriend. We were having a conversation and she basically asked Mike and I if we wanted children. I said no, because Mike and I weren't engaged at the time and I just, I was answering for myself. I will never forget how she went in on me. She basically told me that as a woman, there's no reason for me to be a woman. Like I have a womb for a reason. I get my period for a reason. And if I don't have children, there's no point in me even being on this planet, which I think is disgusting. Now I am child free by choice because it is a choice. There are a lot of people in this world who can't have kids. It became a whole thing. And like, obviously I said these things to her, but I basically was like, well, I am choosing to not, but there are a lot of people in this world that would like to have children and they can't have children. And she was like, well, no, that's different. Basically, she just like shamed me because I am choosing to not have children. And so like ever since then, I haven't really spoken about it. I don't like confrontation and that really pissed me off, okay? It pissed me off. For the other women in this world who choose to not have children and for women in this world who can't have children, it's just like, it's such a sensitive topic. And I think that that's why I really don't like to talk about it. Everyone has so much that they go through in life. I love you guys, but I don't know what you go through in life. It's just a no-no. I don't want children because a few reasons. I've never really had that like maternal instinct. I didn't enjoy babysitting growing up. I babysat like maybe three times and it was terrible. 
each and every time. The one time I babysat, the kid broke the door down. It was like my brother's friend because I'm six years older than my brother. So I babysat his friend and his sibling. The one sibling locked himself in the bedroom and the other one broke the door down. It was terrible. The other time, one of the kids was like hiding and I couldn't find him and I had a full on like panic attack. I'm just not a maternal person. I don't want to sound like, I don't want to sound terrible. Um, I don't want to sound terrible, but I'm just not, I've never been, like I see a baby and I'll be like, oh my God, so cute. But like, I don't know, I see a kitten and I think the kitten's cuter. Just me, no offense. That's just, you know, I'm just saying. I also have two younger siblings. Like I said, I'm six years older than my brother and I'm four years older than my sister. And I just feel, my sister, God love her. She used to throw temper tantrums. She was just like a psychotic child. No offense, okay? If you have a psychotic child, I don't think it, I, and I honestly don't think it's a reflection on the parents. Again, I'm not a parent, so take it with a grain of salt. But like I was a very calm, reserved kid. And I still find like I am that, Still, my sister was not, did I say I'm four years older than her? I'm not, I'm two years older than my sister. What am I saying? Her and I were so close in age that like her and I like really grew up together. We went through like all the stages of life together. I love her. Like, you know, my sister and I are really close. It's just not for me. And also like children are really expensive. I don't want to work until forever. And granted, I understand that like, that's not everyone's circumstance, but I kind of just want to enjoy my life with my husband and my cat and my dog and just like, enjoy and retire somewhere on a beach somewhere. I don't know. I'm also a very selfish person and I don't mean that to say like, I don't care about other people. I really need my me time. And I understand that having a child is like, there is no me time for you. Like everything you pour into your child. And I just can't, like I enjoy sitting here. I enjoy dicing my hair. And that, I'm not saying that you can't do these things when you have kids, that's not what I'm saying. But I have a lot of nieces and nephews on Michael's side and a lot of them play sports and a lot of them are go, go, go. And and I just, I think about my weekend and after working all week, I don't know how moms do it. You're all superheroes, honestly, Jesus. I don't know how you do it. But after a long week of work, I just want to relax. Drives her kids to swimming, to softball, to baseball, to football, all the things. I just, I don't really want to do that. I understand that that is very selfish of me, but I don't want to do that. And so I choose to not do it. I wouldn't have a kid and tell my kid, like you can't play sports and whatnot. Like I'm just not going to have a kid so that I don't have to do those things on the weekend so that my life can just continue to be about me. Is that bad? Um, I don't know, but this is just where I'm at. And I don't know, Mike and I, we love traveling. We love just like picking up and going. I've always felt this way. I've never been someone to like picture my big, beautiful wedding, my white picket fence with my kids, my dog, my cat. No, I was, there was always a cat. Let's keep that for real. I always wanted a cat and I always wanted a husband, but I didn't want like the whole to do wedding. I didn't want like the 2.4 children that, you know, is what America wants us to have. And also like, it's not a safe, place to raise children. I'm not trying again to insult anyone here, but like, I don't want to have to worry about sending my kid to school and like, God forbid something happening to them while they're in school. The state of the world, the hotness, the planet, the global warming, like I worry enough as it is about myself, my cat, my husband, my family. I don't want like another thing that I need to worry about. I'm just being honest. So that is where I stand. What are your thoughts? It's like a sensitive topic and I don't really want to like insult people, but also this is another thing that I'm struggling with lately. I used to be a very like confrontational person. Like I would talk and say the things that I wanted to say with like no remorse. And now as I've gotten older, I kind of just like don't do that. I just, I hate confrontation. I don't know what happened to me. I feel like I bite my tongue a lot of the time. I don't really want to do that anymore. Like I want to have tough conversations and I want to have enlightening conversations and I want us to have a discussion. So I think I am going to talk about it a little bit more. And this was kind of like me dipping my toes in the water. How much time do I have? Oh, I have 15 minutes. Oh my God. I'm sweating, sweating. I don't really know which lip letter I want to use. Like I really want to use Honeybee Gardens. I know we weren't going to talk about this and Island Spice because it is my favorite, but I just feel like I should try something else. Like, do I want to use this? Yes. Can I close the the iron in? Yeah. Thank you. But I think I'm gonna use this ABH in Muted Mauve. I just wanna mix it up because I wanna use the things that I own instead of the same, I use the same lip liners on repeat. My last topic is that I've just, I've 
been changing my mindset recently. I just, I feel like I've always kind of felt like shame in my full-time job. And I don't know why I'm a corporate girly. I work in New York City, working in corporate America for a good like 11 years now. And I don't know why I have such like shame around that. And I felt that way for a really long time. I think it's because I'm not really like doing what I feel is fulfilling. So I kind of like belittle my professional career and I make myself feel bad about it. No one else is shaming me, it's me. And I kind of had that realization recently where I'm like, why do I feel such shame? Why am I putting that on myself? I'm kind of just like, you know what? Everything that I do, I'm the kind of person where I always give my all and I give my best and I have a lot of like pride and dignity in the things that I do. So I should just like hone in on that and focus on that. So now everything that I do, I'm just like, you know what? Yes, I am the badass bitch and I'm doing it. My posture's better, my shoulders are back and I'm kind of just owning everything that I do. And it's kind of just like, you know what? Yeah, this is me. Why am I going to pretend like I'm not the person that I am? I think I need to accept all aspects of my life. And I just feel like it's been really good for my mental health. It's been really good in opening my eyes and seeing the gratitude that I have in everything. Like, I, yeah, I work nine to five. I, I work for corporate America. Do I love my job? Like, no, but I'm grateful for my job. Having that nine to five enables me to have hobbies like such, you know, like I like being able to have my weekends to talk to you guys, to create content. Like I like the work-life balance that it gives me. Do I love commuting three hours a day at least? No, I absolutely hate it. But you know, there are pros and cons to everything. And I've just decided mentally that I need to really like focus on the pros more than focusing on the cons because life is really what you make it and I'm a badass bitch and everything that I do. And I hope that, you know, you think the same way. And if you don't, then hopefully this is your wake up call to do so. And I have one life to live and I just think like owning what you do and owning who you are. And maybe if you're not loving everything that you're doing, just like bringing your sense of you into it. So, you know, if you are someone that you always try your best, you tried your best, girl. Like that's good. You no, know, that should just be good enough. So I've just been like really playing around with my mindset, kind of like trying to be a little bit more grateful for things. I mean, still crying, but also giving myself a hug and embracing myself when I am upset because I'm allowed to be upset. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but oh, this lip liner looks really good with this color dress. And now I'm going to put this lipstick on, which I bought this lipstick a while ago. I feel like it was like the hype of it all. Charlotte Tilbury came out with Candy Chic and I fell for the hype. I just don't really know. It's like a thick lipstick. I thought maybe the, oh, that looks cute with this lip liner. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. Okay. Maybe I don't hate this. And I bought these earrings, which I wanted to show you because I bought them at like a street fair in New York City. They are knockoff YSLs. And again, I know we talked about not buying things, but these were so cute. I couldn't pass them up. I really, I have a shopping problem. So I, this internal struggle is like really a struggle for me because I just, I don't know what to do. I really want to like be who I am and own who I am. But at the same time, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to feel like I'm contributing to the problem. Probably going to go buy something at the Short Hills Mall. So it's just, it's very contradictory and I feel really bad about it. But this is the finished makeup look, even though it like really wasn't about the makeup. My hair didn't do what I had hoped it would do. Like I kind of wanted to blow it out and it just to look like more, I don't know. Anywho, it is what it is. We need to move on. Mike and I need to leave, but let me know down below in the comment section, what are your thoughts on some of the topics that I covered today? I would be really interested to hear, especially like any topic that you want to talk about, I would love to hear it, but I would be especially like interested in hearing about your thoughts on those of us who are child-free by choice, but like honestly, the consumption thing, because that's the child-free by choice. I'm not really navigating at all. It is a decision that I have made. I am just, I'm really struggling with how to be less of an over consumer, being someone that like loves the planet loves to recycle like i just care and i like to minimize my carbon footprint let me know do honestly your honest opinion do you feel like i push things on you guys like do you feel like i'm really pushing products i don't take like sponsored videos i only like work with brands that i truly love and adore 99.9 percent .9 of the time i'm not getting paid by a company to talk about a product and if i am it's because i love the product i don't know like i'm thinking about that sunscreen short that i uploaded the user in spf 30 like i genuinely love love that sunscreen. And like my thought behind that is that I want you guys to wear sunscreen because I want you to stay protected from the sun. Like I just, it's important for me that you wear sunscreen. 
being someone that I love. Like Mike, I'm always like sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I can't even say it. Like SPF, I'm not annoying auntie. That's like, are you wearing your damn sunscreen? That annoying wife that's like, did you put SPF on today? I just feel like it's an important thing. And I found a product that doesn't feel like sunscreen. It feels like moisturizer. And so if my husband will wear it because it doesn't bother him, then maybe you'll wear it. If you're someone that hates sunscreen, I don't know. It's a whole freaking thing. But let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. If you're not yet subscribed, check out some of my videos. I will link a couple at the end of this video. If you enjoy hanging out with me, let's make it a habit and hit subscribe down below and also click the bell button. This way you get a notification every time a video goes live. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.